it's go time. You've done your research and it's time. You want to launch that business. You want to launch that new project that God's put on your heart. And you want to make the impact that you know that he wants to have in and through you. And I'm excited for you. I want you to win. I really want you to win. But the ugly truth is that you've probably got rose-colored glasses on. We've got a picture of the future that we're painting to be just a little bit better than it probably will be. We know deep down that the road will be challenging, that there will be ups and downs, good days and bad days, but when we're standing at the beginning, we have a tendency to paint that dream with some pretty broad strokes. Now you and I both know there is no perfect business. There is no perfect job, no perfect side hustle, no perfect adventure in this part of life that you're going to step into. And what you're about to adventure into is really like a roller coaster. And I know what's about to happen when you step onto that roller coaster, when you step into that adventure. And you might say, well, how do you know that? Because there's actually a map. This map is called the transition curve. And it's so good that when it was originally shared with me a couple of years ago, I immediately printed it out and put it on my office wall. Because it's applicable not just to your new business or new adventure, but it's applicable to a lot of different things. Whenever you're going through a new change in life, maybe it's a new relationship, you want to learn a new skill, this transition curve comes into play. Because once you have it, once you understand it, it almost feels like you have a competitive advantage. Almost like you can see around corners. So here it is. And where you are right now is at this beginning phase called uninformed optimism. And I love this phase. This is where the dream is big. This is where the hope is huge. And just like being on the roller coaster, we creep up towards the top. We're so excited. We launch. We come over that edge and we slam into what they call informed pessimism. You've got a bit more information now, but the reality of the challenge is starting to set in. And you're saying things to yourself like, this isn't what I expected, or it's a lot more challenging than I thought it would be, or wow, I definitely didn't see this coming. And the reality is you've launched, it's not going super well, and you're frustrated. Now what happens next is really where the magic of the transition curve happens. And why do I say that? Because this is called the crisis of meaning. It's at the bottom of the roller coaster. And this is where most people are going to head into crash and burn. This is where most people are going to quit. But just by knowing that, you have an incredible advantage. Because when you hit that moment, when you hit that feeling of, why did I start this? I don't think I can keep going. Or I don't think this is actually possible. Or what was I thinking when I started this? And what made me think this would be a good idea? When you hit those feelings, when you hit that moment, you can recognize recognize that there are some people that will push through and pull out of it, and there are some people that will crash and burn. But if you can recognize it and know that you're going to go through this crisis of meaning, then all of a sudden it becomes a lot less scary. So now, of course, there are many people that don't hit that crash and burn phase actually pull up and head into informed optimism. How do you do that? You actually need to dig deep and find the hope that you had in the beginning, all the reasons that you got started in the beginning. Find them, whether you've written them down or you remember what they were. You may want to write a letter to yourself saying, hey, you know what? When you're at the bottom, when you're saying, why did we start this? This isn't working. I don't think I can continue. You may need a letter saying, hey, yes, you can. And here's why. You're going to need to be able to reference that because the thing that pulls you through that crisis of meaning is hope. Because as you stay steady, you will get through it and eventually you begin to believe that you can continue. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be simple. But now you see a glimmer of hope saying, hey, you know what? This is possible. It's going to be more challenging than I thought it would be, but I can see it through. And you're running up informed optimism. And I love when you're in that phase of informed optimism because I generally see it as having a sense of calm. You have a much better picture. You know the work that it's going to take to continue to be successful and you are okay with that. You recognize that it is going to be challenging, but you're informed now and you're prepared to do the work that is necessary to see this through. Now this map, this transition curve actually repeats itself. And so now that you know that and can recognize it, you can also recognize other points in your life where you have been through transition curves and won. Because you want to build for yourself a body of evidence that says, you know what, I'm the type of person that sees things through. I'm the type of person that takes a challenge and is willing to go through the difficult parts to get through to the other side of everything that God had planned for me. And like I said, this can be applied to a business. It can be applied to a new job. You can apply this when you go to learn a new skill or a new sport. You're very excited at the beginning. You hit this thing going, oh my goodness, what have I done? And then you get the opportunity to carry it through and see it through to get better, to get that opportunity of completion. Some of these transitions curves last an hour. Some of them last a week. Some of them last 
months, but you're always going to be moving through them. And so today, as you launch into your next adventure, I hope that you're able to take this map and use it as a tool to help you carry through when you hit that tough moment. Because that ugly truth of the picture that you're painting for yourself right now isn't the whole picture. I want you to win because God's put a dream in your heart. He wants to do something incredible through you, but you're still going to have to go through some challenges to get there. And I want you to be equipped to do that. 